Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. That's right, we got some awesome content coming right now, which is all about public speech, another app as to how to practice your public speaking and also for job interviews using virtual reality. <laughs> All right, so once the app has loaded, you will have three different screens. You're inside a living room, which is nice and cozy, nice and bright. So you have the progress with my desk here, speech practice with modern auditorium, simple classroom, corporate boardroom. So basically this is where you practice how to do your speeches. And then you have experiences with job interviews, uh, some speech at the valedictorian, and company networking, which apparently seems to be coming soon. So uh, these guys have actually done quite a good job when we compare to virtual speech. Uh, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison in a separate video. But for this specific app, there are a few bugs here and there, but I do like what they've done. Let me show you a little bit. Uh, I think this app uh, to me is much more useful for job interviews than it is for speech practices. But let's just go into some of the rooms so I can just show you very quickly uh, what it's like. So let's go into simple classroom. So once you click on it, it will tell you, uh, okay, the audience, the number of people inside, the difficulty. So, uh, you know, how difficult or how uncomfortable would it, would it make you if you were to be in a similar situation. Uh, and then it gives you the location as to where this specific place is. And then you have game mode. So First is impromptu, meaning that without preparing, receive a random speech topic and give a speech on it. Or you can choose to, so for example, I use my trigger, it's a little buggy here. So if I use the control pad, poof, okay, it's fine, it works fine now. So something that the developers can work on. Um, so for presentation, you have to go to their website and then create an account and upload whatever PDF or document you want to upload in order to practice. So let's go back to impromptu and then click on the trigger for play. We're inside the classroom. You see there's a virtual panel with all types of different people, different creeds, different races, and also dressed differently. So it's very multi multicultural, I'll say. Uh, and different, uh, you know, some people look very bored. Others look like they're very attentive. Others uh, laughing. So there's a bit of everything here. Uh, down here you have your minute where you, you, you have until the next topic you talk about. And then here you have the topic. So three things I do well are, and then you basically talk about something. Uh, here you can actually record your speech. Uh, so there's a lot of analytical data, uh, similarly to virtual speech that they give you based on the presentation that you will do. You have to speak for a minimum of one minute each time, by the way. And then in the menu, which is the hamburger here. So sometimes, again, it's a bit buggy. You mouse over, you open, or you use your thumb on the control pad. It, it depends. But all you have is resume, home, restart, and end speech. That's it. So to close it, you just up. Okay, I have to click outside of the hamburger, otherwise it doesn't close. So for the next, um, the next topic, I just click on skip topic and then it will change here. An important lesson I have learned. And then you see my countdown uh, starts again from fresh. And then I go to menu, oh, and then uh, I will put end speech. Then you can self-evaluate yourself and the algorithm of the app will then compare yourself with its actual self. Uh, and then next, so uh, analysis, posture, content, clarity, okay? Confidence, uh, voice volume, and voice speed. So we didn't pick up anything here. Uh, best score, 100%. Good job. You spoke with a good posture throughout your speech, which is key to keeping the audience interested in what you are saying, all right? If I click on here, results. So self-evaluation, I gave myself 97%. Over score is actually 71%. Uh, result, two day streak. I'm not quite sure what this is yet. Uh, I will try to, to write to the developers and you know ask them some questions and leave a comment below if there's anything you want me to ask uh, the developers or their, their programmers, you know anything at all, leave a comment below and I will ask them on your behalf as well and try to see 
what they come up with. And let me know if there's another app. Did you use virtual speech? By the way, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know if you will compare this to the other one or if there's another one that you used. Leave a comment below. All right, so previous course, uh, it will go to, you know, other things that you may have done. It will actually record here uh, different scores based on the similar classroom and all these things that you did. So that's good to have uh, to keep track. So let me click finish and I'm back inside. Uh, but yeah, there's a bug as you can tell. So I think this app is probably still in development, but there's a lot of things that work. So we can go to, uh, we just went to the simple classroom. Let's go to the corporate boardroom. I'll show you what it looks like. So it's an audience of 15, so a smaller audience than just now, which was 25. All right, so the app just crashed on me. So let's go back into auditorium once more. So the graphics are not too bad. I think that compared to virtual speech, the clarity is actually much better, but virtual speech is a much uh, more, I think they're up, they put much more work into it because it doesn't crash as much. Uh, the buttons, you know, work the first time I press on them uh, compared to this app, which, you know, just crashes now. And then there was a bug earlier. And then some of the buttons, if I click on the menu here, for example, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So, you know, but, but it's still a very good app. Um, so let, I actually want to show you, let me click on record speech just a minute. Okay, so I'm pressing one time. But it stopped. Let me click again. I cannot, once I record it and I stopped it, I can't re record again. Okay, right. What I want to show you is the job interviews because the job interviews is actually something they've done really, really well. Um, I think virtual speech can learn a lot from this app when it comes to job interviews because you can also um, practice job interviews in, in virtual speech too. Uh, and of course, a job interview is something really hard, but what's really good about this compared to virtual speech is the questions they ask you, there's so much more. And of course, da 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 da, who's gonna be your interviewee? Let's check it out. Aha, here we go. Mr. Elon Musk and the other dude there. I need to research this man because I'm not quite sure who he is. But Elon Musk, we all know who he is. So he's played on a loop. Hello, Elon, how are you doing? Nice to meet you again. Uh, let me go to the menu and okay. So I went home. Now, before you actually go inside the app, um, you can choose the topics or the industries if you wish. So for example, okay, I need to up my volume because otherwise I won't hear the questions. Uh, we can go to marketing because I'm based in marketing. Uh, who are some figures that you look up to in the business world? You can then go to menu. Okay, so resume home, restart or in speech. And then you can skip the, to the next question. What's the difference between marketing and selling? How would you contribute if you... Tell me about your personal brand. What is an innovative new marketing strategy that you would like to implement while in this position? Uh, I just went back home because uh, there's another bug. To be very honest with you, it's a, I like this app. Um, yes, there are bugs, but it's probably still in development, so I'm very forgiving about it. Uh, it has a lot to offer. The thing that we can look at is go to my desk, and this is where you, will, you can find all your analytics. Uh, so basically they do things from the voice speed, voice volume, confidence, the strength. Posture, I'm not quite sure how they they do the posture, to be honest with you, because they're not scanning my body and there's no camera that is connected to the Go to see me. Content, so this is basically what I'm talking about and the clarity of the content, how I deliver it, and it gives me metal. Virtual speech, in my, in my humble opinion, Virtual speech is much more comprehensive when it comes to its analytics um, because you have the eye assessment. Also, you have all these in-situ environments where they throw different things at you, like mobile phone going off, uh, people start to talk, there's a glaring that goes off, um, you know, the lights start to glare up and, you know, or, or your, your comfort monitor stops and you, your, your slides don't work anymore. So I think in terms of practicing those kind of things, virtual speech is a much more in-depth uh, app, but to me, as far as I'm concerned, they are no longer the, the only ones in this space uh, who are playing fair game uh, in, in providing a solution to people who do have anxiety, who do need to uh, or feel they need to practice more in an environment that's very immersive um, to help them to succeed, whether it's a speech, a meeting or a job interview. So I think overall, six stars out of 10 or 6.5 stars out of 10 for this one versus maybe eight stars out of 10 for virtual speech. Good job. I like it. Let's move on. Let's get out of the Oculus.